dairy subsector is one of the most dynamic in the agricultural sector and contributes by about 4% to the GDP. The sector is dominated by smallholder farmers who produce about 80% of the total milk in the market while providing employment to over 1 million people across the dairy valley chain. In recent years, smallholder farming has seen increasing commercialization where farming is taken up as a business rather than a livelihood strategy. For a long time, many people in Kenya took dairy farming as a social activity. It was not seen as an enterprise that could bring in income and they kept cows because traditionally uh, everyone had to have a cow at home. But as we move along, more and more people are increasingly uh, finding dairy as an enterprise that is both satisfying and bringing in an income that can take care of their families. And this uh, has been brought about by uh, you know, increasing demand for milk. There is a growing middle class where more and more people are drinking milk. And then we also have development organizations coming up and seeing this as a way of uh, helping farmers become more food secure but also income secure. Despite this growing interest by farmers and a growing middle class which now demands quality milk products, the subsector has numerous challenges like high cost price of milk, caused by low skills level of farmhands and farm managers, seasonality of milk production, poor quality of raw milk, and other inefficiencies along the collection chain and at the processor level. The program has trained farmers on the importance of proper hygiene at the farm level to avoid the risk of infection and milk contamination. They have gone further and even trained transporters and graders on proper milk handling, which has seen processors such as Happy Cow Limited in Akuru and Meru Central Dairy Farmers Union to improve the quality of their raw milk and increase their factory capacity. On the other hand, Happy Cow Limited has implemented a quality-based milk payment system with two dairy cooperatives, that is Olenguruoni and Ugorika, which has supported under the KMDP's Innovation Fund. At Happy Cow, we are only doing the analysis and then uh, advising which can't be paid premium, which can't be paid penalty, which can't be paid uh, standard, depending on the quality analysis. Maize is ready for harvesting. The whole plant with the combs are chopped and ensiled. This can be done on farm in a silage pit or banker for the farmer to feed his own cows, or it can be packaged. We offer advisory services for dairy farmers in Kenya and East Africa. One of the recent products that we launched this month is CowPro. CowPro is a hard management software that helps the farmer run the farm. Farmers can access it through our website, which is cowpro.co.ke. We have put in several modules. It has a feeding module, a health, fertility, finance, milk and even the farmer can get notifications on what needs to be done before it's too late. The growing demand for good feeds has led to establishment of youth groups which have been trained on silage preparation. They now provide the service through the so-called service provider enterprise networks commonly referred to as SPEN groups. 